Tuesday night in Clemson, South Carolina, a hotly contested ACC affair. Goes to the Tigers, 63-60. The final score here tonight at Little John Coliseum. Bob Rathman, Dave Odom, and what a ball game we saw here tonight. Two evenly matched teams that fought tooth and nail for 40 minutes. Bob, I haven't, and neither of you, seen every ACC game, but it's been one better than this. I haven't seen it all year long. Both teams played extremely hard. Both teams were down at a time. Clemson early, Georgia Tech late. Both teams fought back, made it a great game. Well worth the time. If there was one overall turning point tonight, it was the fact that Clemson was able to steal the ball and take those turnovers, convert them into points. Points off the turnover, I think, was the biggest stat in the entire game, no question about that. And they had to do that because they were a little bit out undermanned, outmanned, if you will, in the post. And, you know, they played aggressive defense anytime the ball would go inside, and they, could, they, they converted the uh, points off of turnovers. I mean, they, they, it was a big, big, big factor. The Georgia Tech shooting tailed off considerably. They shot 52% in the first half, but only 35% in the second half. And the three ball that served them well as they jumped off to a 10-point lead early, they made just one of their last 12 from beyond the arc. And Brandon Reed missing that three that would have sent the game into overtime. Well, just a moment ago, Dave had a chance to catch up with head coach Brad Brownell and K.J. McDaniels. Brad, was that a sigh of relief I saw when your team got the rebound at the end? Or what What would you call that? It was a sigh of relief. You know, we played pretty well after a slow start, but give Georgia Tech credit. Their kids kept fighting. And, uh, you know, you missed a couple free throws. Then you made a couple big ones and just trying to hold on for dear life. Devin Booker, tired tonight, gave it your best effort. I told you that he, he, between he and Jennings, they'd get 15 points, 13 rebounds. At the beginning, would you have told me you could have won? You know what? I, I, I wouldn't have known for sure, but Book's been hurt and tired and, and sick the last week, and he was really gritty today. Milk wasn't quite as, as good as he was the other night, but that's hard to do. K.J. made a big, couple big free throws, and I thought defensively we really settled down the last 30 minutes and played good. Well, one of the guys that really played well for you, K.J. McDaniels, let's get him in here. KJ, congratulations to you. Appreciate it. Scored points, blocked shots, big win for you and the Tigers. How'd you do it? Um, we just had to come out and just be aggressive once again. You know, we had to keep our composure. We saw them coming back, so we just stayed, you know, we kept our composure and stayed aggressive. Don't you feel your team's getting a lot better and, you know, across the board, your inside, your outside game's clicking, defense is looking good? Every day, every day in practice we get better, and I see it coming. Congratulations. Good for thank you. you. Thank you. The Clemson Back. Tigers with the victory improved to 12 and 8 overall, 4 and 4 in the ACC. Georgia Tech falls to 11 and 8 and 1 and 6. Clemson wins 63-60.